tonight. So tonight we are going to discuss or to review about general education and professional education. Uh, before we start, uh, let's have a short prayer first. No? So I'd like to ask each and everyone to feel the presence of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather here today, we invite your presence into this review session. Lord, bless each and every one of us as we embark on another day of learning. Please give us clear minds and open hearts so we can grasp the knowledge and lessons set before us. Help us to be attentive and let your wisdom guide us in our review. We ask for your peace to fill this virtual classroom so that even in the midst of challenges, we may feel your comforting presence. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so let me share my screen to you. So, wait a second. Ayan. Ayan. Nakikita niyo naman, ano? Can you see my screen? Teachers. Okay. Okay, okay again. Ah, Paki-mute na lang po yung naka-open na mic, please. Okay, once again, good evening po sa inyong lahat. Uh, before anything else, magpapakilala mo po muna ako. Uh, my name is Nino M. Nugid. I am a licensed professional teacher. Nakapasa po ako last year during the SPLE or the Special Professional Licensure Exam dito sa Saudi Arabia. Kasabay ko pong pumasa si, si Dr. Ruben and I think yung iba pong lecture din dito ay kasabay namin pumasa last year. So I'm also a registered midwife and I'm also a licensed midwife technician dito sa South. Educational management from the Philippine Christian University. Pero yung aming graduation ceremony will be next month. Okay, so after ng bachelor's degree ko, uh, nag-earn po ako ng 18 units in professional teaching program under Shena College, Quezon City. Yung Bachelor of Arts in Psychology uh, from AMA University. And also, I took up Diploma in Midwifery from Pamantasan ng Kaguyang. Ayan. Okay, review tips. So I guess by this time, uh, alam nyo na yung mga review hacks, yung mga learning strategies nyo, yung mga learning styles nyo. So alam nyo na yan. Ang three tips na lang na may bibigay ko sa inyo is hard work, dedication, and commitment. Sabi nga kung hard work, kung masipag ka, papasa ka sa board exam. Kung uh, dodoblehin mo pa yung sipag mo, magiging top notcher ka or even makakakuha ng mataas na rating sa board exam. And of course, kasabay ng hard work is yung dedication natin and yung commitment sa ginagawa natin. And for for this aspect, yung pagre-review sa board exam yung ating ginagawa. And kung bibigyan mo siya ng dedication and commitment, of course, yung outcome yan is positive. Okay. 
So first, uh, sabi nga ni Dr. Ben, dalawa yung ating uh, i-review, general education and professional education. So let me start first with general education drill. So before that, I want you to answer sa mga questions na makikita ko naman sa, sa chat box. Titignan natin. So don't worry kung magkamali. It's, it's okay. Pero sa board exam, kailangan hindi na natin madadala yung mga mistakes. no Okay, number one. The first question is, during the Spanish regime, uh, wait, wait, wait. In the Philippines, there are Europe-educated Filipinos who belong to affluent middle-class families called A. Obreros, B. Propagandists, C. Mestizos, or D. Ilustrados. Can you type your answers? Okay, I'm seeing D. D. Ilustrados. Okay. Yes, the correct answer is letter D, Ilustrados. Okay, i-define muna natin yung obrero. Yung obrero, ang tawag doon ay mga worker o yung mga manggagawa. Propagandist, natin propagandist, sila yung promoter. Kinilis ba niya na siyang, oh, maka nang para ako. Again, pakikin natin yung mga manggagawa. Can you mute your mic, please? Okay, thank you. Promoter, pro, uh, campaigner, yung propagandist. Again, yung mga kilala nating mga propagandist, yung mga sikat nun ay si Lopez Haina, si Rizal, at yung journalist na si Marcelo H. Del Pilar. Sila yung tatlong leading figures na nag-emerge na nag noon sa propaganda movement. no? Yung mga magazine, nasa yung mga poetry nila. Yung mestizos, pag sinabing mestizos, is a name used to refer people of mixed native Filipino and any foreign ancestry. Kung baga may mix na yung blood ng Filipino. So that's mestizos. Second question. The first poem written by Rizal, who won a prize, was blank. A. Sa aking mga kababata. B. Huling paalam. C. Bagong lipunan. Or letter D. Pilipinas kong mahal. Okay, can you type your answers? Letter A. Si Ma'am Mercy, letter A. Tatlong letra A. R. Okay. I think everybody got correct answer. So sa aking mga kababata, yan yung first poem na Rizal na nanalo ng prize. So ito ay ang Lahaven to Filipino or to the Filipino youth. Itong, itong poem na ito, nasulat ito sa wikang uh, Espanyol. So this was first presented in 1879 in Manila while he was studying at the University of Santo Tomas. Number three, the, fir the famous character in Rizal's novel who became the symbol of the abused Filipino mother was A. Maria Clara, B. Perlita, C. Tia Isabel, or letter D. Sisa. Okay. Sisa, letter D. Okay. Yes, the correct answer is letter D, si Sisa. Siya yung symbol ng abused Filipino mother. Si Maria Clara is a character from the No Limitangere again, written by Rizal, and to many, Maria Clara is the epitome of purity and innocence. She also... Uh, the representation as demure and self-effacing pose on an ideal image of what a Filipina should be. Si Tia Isabel naman, siya yung kapatid ni Kapitan Tiago na tumulong magpalaki kay Maria Clara. Fourth question. All these were illustrados except A. Graciano Lopez Haina, B. Jose Rizal, C. Marcelo H. Del Pilar, or letter D. Andres Bonifacio. Lahat daw ito ay is mga ilustrados maliban sa isa. Si, okay. Yes. Letter D, Andres Bonifacio. So during Spanish 
or Spain's rule in the Philippines, the Ilustrados belong to the European educated middle class Filipinos. So many of the names we know and remember today in our country belong to this class. Ayan, ang mga sikat na mga ilustrado, si Juan Luna, si Lopez Haina, si Del Pilar, si Felix Resurrection Hidalgo, si Antonio Luna, si Jose Rizal, and si Mariano Ponce. Fifth question. William Sidney Porter was a famous American writer of short stories noted for surprise endings like The Gift of the Maggie, Cabbages and Kings, The Last Leaf, in which he used the pen name A. Mark Twain, B. George Eliot, C. Longfellow, or letter D. O. Henry. What's the correct answer? Ano daw yung pen name ni William Sidney Porter? I'm seeing letter C, letter D, letter D. Okay, the correct answer is letter D. So, ang pen name ni William Sidney Porter is C. O. Henry. Si Mark Twain, Samuel Clemens, George Eliot, Mary, Mary Ann Evans, and si Longfellow is si Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Number six. The researcher found the source creditable and so she decided to blank the method. Letter A, adopt. B, adapt. C, adapt. Or D, adjust. Okay, si Ma'am Erica, letter B, LPT with the heart, letter B. Si Sir Jemuel, letter B. Okay, let's see the answer. The correct answer is letter B, adapt with the letter A. Sige, define natin yung mga words na to. Yung adapt with the letter A is used either when a change is made to make something more suitable for a particular use or when adjusting to a new place. So example nito, when I moved to New England, I had to adapt to cold weather. So kailangan i-adapt mo yung cold weather no New England. Yung adapt with the letter O is used when something is taken over, chosen, accepted, or approved by choice. Example nito, the Constitution will adapt New amendments. Yung adept naman, ang meaning nito is skilled or expert. Yung adjust is to modify or alter. Number seven. Progress in one's occupation is called blank. Letter A, blank status. Letter B, occupational renewal. Letter C, career development. Or letter D, work award. Okay, I'm seeing C, career development. Si Ma'am Abigail, si Ma'am Erica, and si Sir Jamuel. Letter C. Yes, the correct answer is letter C, career development. Yes. Number eight. Declaration of martial law is when there is blank. Letter A, attempted assassination of politicians. Letter B, graft, uh, graft and corruption. Letter C, danger to famine because of predicted drought. Or letter D, visible rebellion and widespread lawlessness. By the way, sino yung uh, uh, under the Philippine Constitution is allowed to declare the martial law? Sino nang nagsasalita pala? 
anybody knows. Under the Philippine Constitution, who is allowed to declare martial law? Sabi naman, ano, is Congress? Sir Jumel Congress. Okay, the correct answer is letter D. Uh, Article 8, uh, Article 7, Section 18 of the 1987 Constitution empowers the President of the Republic to declare martial law for a period not exceeding 60 days in cases of rebellion and invasion when public safety requires it. Yes. Okay, number nine. Films are the most advanced art because they not only involve visual and audio projections, but also blank. Letter A, music. B, scenery. C, movement. Or letter D, light. Okay, tama naman lahat. The correct answer is C, movement. Number 10. A regular solid where length, width, and height are equal is called A, circle, B, cube, C, cone, or D, sphere. What's the correct answer? B, letter B. Oh. Yes, tama kayong lahat. Ang correct answer is letter B, uh, cube. Siba, ang circle is circle. Ang sphere ay uh, shape ng earth. Yung cone is yung shape ng ice cream cone. So the correct answer is letter B, cube. Para siyang square with the, with the dimensions. Okay, number 11. All these sculpture materials except ang lahat ng ito ay mga sculpture, sculpture materials maliban sa isa. Is it letter A, acrylic? Letter B, clay? Letter C, wood? Or letter D, marble? Yes, I'm seeing letter A, lahat A, okay. Yes, the correct answer is letter A, acrylic. Kasi yung acrylic is a transparent plastic material with outstanding strength, stiffness, and optical clarity. So hindi natin pwedeng sculpture ang plastic. So all these three are uh, best example of uh, sculpture material. Yung clay, wood, and the marble. Number 12. A recipe for custard requires four eggs for every eight cups of flour. The baker has 32 cups of flour and so that the baker will need blank eggs. Ilang eggs ang kailangan niya? Letter D, letter B, letter C, 16, or letter D, 24. Crystal Padre, maki-mute na lang po ng mic, please. Thank you. So I'm seeing all correct answer. Alam ko, I know na encounter niyo na tong question ito uh, during the review kasi parang palagi itong lumalabas. But actually itong question ito um nag-appear siya nung last board exam namin. Ang tip ko lang sa inyo, kubag, 'di ba may mga tin Actually ako to be honest, hindi ako magaling sa math and sobrang Sobrang hina ko sa math. Ang naging technique ko lang dito, di ba may mga tinuturo sa atin kung paano siya i-compute, kung paano siya i-compute yung mga nito. Oh, Mati po, 16, uh, i-mute po kung sino ka. Question. Yes, pakimute nga lang po. Hello, makimute po yung may OPPO A16. Thank you. Nakadistract po. Nakadistract. Yes. Thank you. So, ang correct answer is letter. Yun nga, as I was saying, di ba may mga tinuturo sa atin kung paano i-compute yung mga ganitong uh, mathematical question. Pero, 
ako parang ang ginamit ko lang uh, yung yung kung alam kung sa sarili ko alam kung doon ako nadadalian kung saan ko yung nadadalian na pag compute or pag uh, pag uh, pag calculate ng mga ganitong questions mathematical questions doon kayo magstick no kasi mas madali yung masasagutan yung mga questions sa board exam lalo na pag may mga math questions Okay, number 13. We watch as the patients blank the pain from the treatment. Letter A, bear. Letter B, bear. Letter C, born. Or letter D, bore. What is the correct answer for this? 13, letter C. B, B, B. B, okay. So the correct answer is letter A, bear. Bear is to carry or to hold up. Yung bear, pag sinabi natin bear, naked, ordinary, plain, and basic. So, yung bear, to carry or to hold up. So, you know, pag, pag itinanaslate natin sa sentence, we watch as the patients to carry the pain or to hold up the pain from the treatment. So, the correct answer is letter A, bear. B, with a B-E-A-R. Yes, tama po. Pakimute na lang. Salamat. Number 14. The process of studying oneself closely in quietness and reflective mood is blank. Is it A, introspection, B, interpersonal, C, intrapersonal, or D, intrusion? What is the correct answer? I'm seeing letter C, letter A, letter C. Sige. Letter A. The correct answer for this question would be letter A, introspection. Pag sinabi natin interpersonal, it is the relationship, our relationship between different people. Yung intrapersonal, this is your relationship between you, yourself. And then yung intrusion, it, uh, it is defined as trespassing or invasion. So the correct answer is letter A, introspection. A person's, number 15, a person's right or protection against unlawful, unlawful disappearance is done through blank. A, Bill of Rights. B, Writ of Habeas Data. C, Writ of Habeas Corpus. Or letter D, Writ of Amparo. Ito daw yung right or protection against unlawful disappearance. What is the correct answer for this? I'm seeing letter C, all letter C. Yes, everybody got correct. The, the correct answer is letter C. It's the writ of habeas corpus. When we say Bill of Rights, uh, under the uh, Article 3 of the Philippine Constitution, it establishes the relationship of, of the individual to the state and defines the rights of the individual by limiting the lawful powers of the state. Yung Bill of Rights, yun yung mga right to life, right to property, right to due process, right to um, freedom of speech, yun yung mga bill of, example ng bill of, Bills of Rights. Yung habeas data, it is defined as, uh, pag sinabing habeas data, pag nakita nyo sa board exam na habeas data, automatic ano yan, a person's right to privacy, kasi may data nga, di ba? Yung writ of amparo, pag sinabing writ of amparo, yun yung right to life, liberty, and security. So, correct answer for this question would be letter C, writ of habeas corpus. Number 16, symbiotic relationship between orchid on the trunk of a tree 
bird with nest on trees branches, clownfish and sea anemone refers to relationship which is blank. Letter A, parasitism. B, mutualism. C, commensalism. Or letter D, reciprocity. What is the correct answer for this? Okay, letter C. C, letter B. May sumagot ng letter B. C. <laughs> okay, the correct answer is letter C, commensalism. Pag sinabi natin commensalism, one organism benefits and then the other is not harmed. Sa question, hindi naman na-harm yung orchid nasa trunk siya ng tree pero hindi naman na-harm yung tree. Yung bird nasa tree's branches pero hindi naman na-harm yung tree. Yung parasitism, one organism benefits and the other is harmed. So yun yung parang opposite ng commensalism, yung parasitism. Mutualism, when both uh, organisms benefit. Competition, neither benefits. Predation, one species benefit while the other dies. And then the neutralism, both species unaffected. Number 17. Marcelo H. Del Pilar was to Plaridel. So was Jose Rizal to blank? A. Tagailog D. Dimasala C. May Pag-asa or letter D. Pinkian So ano yung hinahanap sa question yung pseudonym or yung pen name ni Jose Rizal? Okay, I'm seeing letter B. All letter B. Yes, the correct answer is letter B. Di masalang. Ah, uh, yung taga ilog ang pen name niya ni Juan Luna, uh, ni, sorry ni Antonio Luna. Yung pinkian si Emilio Jacinto yan. Ah, uh, alias niya yan sa katipunan. Number 18. That population increases geometrically but food supply does not increase as much is the economic theory known as A. Machiavellian, B. Supply and Demand, C. Multitian, or letter D. Socialism. 18 letter. Okay, I'm seeing C. Letter C. By the way, uh, i-ano nyo pala, um, bilangin nyo yung mga correct answers is niyo ninyo no para ma-assess niya din kung kung uh, ilan yung mga scores niyo itong gen ed 30 questions to and then yung prof ed natin later on will be 35 questions kasi meron lang tayong 2 hours no kaya bibilisan natin yung facing ng ating uh, pag uh, atake sa mga questions So, letter C. Yes, the correct answer is letter C. Multition. Pag sin yung Mach Machiavellian, it is the ability to be manipulative and a drive to use whatever means necessary to gain power. Pag, mas pag nakita nyo sa word sa Machiavellian, manipulative yan and to gain power. Yung supply and demand sa ano to, the law of supply and demand predicts that if the supply of goods or services outstrip demand, Prices will fall. If demands exist, exceed supplies, prices will rise. Sa ano to? Sa, sa economy. Economics, I mean, sorry. Number 19. The interdisciplinary field, which includes studies on women, men, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, etc., is collectively collectively known as blank. A. Sex education. B. Human studies. C. Gender studies. Or letter D. Poverty studies. I'm seeing letter A. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. Let's see the answer. The correct answer is letter C. It's the gender studies. 
Pag sinabi natin human studies, it's the philosophy and human sciences. Combination ng philosophy and human sciences. Ang sex education, ano to, instruction of issues relating to human sexuality, including human sexual anatomy, sexual activity, sexual reproduction, safe sex and birth control, sexual health, reproductive health, emotional relations and responsibilities, age of consent, and reproductive rights. Yung poverty studies naman examine poverty, social injustice, and oppression. So the correct answer this for this question is letter C, gender studies. Number 20, the lowest form of learning observed especially among animals is blank. Letter A, conditioning. Letter B, motivation. Letter C, maturation. Or letter D, reinforcement. Okay, everybody's answering letter A. Yes, for this question, the correct answer is letter A, conditioning. Number 21, regular hunting is ensuring the preservation of endangered blank. Letter A, forest. Letter B, animals. Letter C, plants. Or letter D, trees. Ano ba yung mga na-endangered Yung parang palagi yung naririnig, mga endangered blank. So, super easy nitong question na to. So, the correct answer is letter B. Everybody is correct. Letter B, animals. 22. Film is a modern art because it uses blank. Letter A, technologies. Letter B, fireworks. Letter C, camera tricks. Or letter D, robots. Okay. Letter A, letter A, letter A. Yes, the correct answer for this question is letter A, technologies. Film is a modern art because it uses technologies. 23. The similar similar art form which combines a story or, or emotional experiences through the use of lyrical and auditory patterns of rhyme, rhythm, and instrumental accompaniment is blank. Letter A, film. B, sculpture. C, architecture. Or letter D, music. Tinan yung question, may lyrics daw, may auditory patterns of rhyme, may rhythm. Ginagamita ng mga instrument. So, ang correct answer, of course, is letter D, music. 24. The child who just lost his front tooth could not blank the apple. Letter A, bite. Letter B, bit. Letter C, rail. Letter D, bait. Okay, I'm seeing letter A. Someone answer letter D. Letter A, letter A. Okay, the correct answer is letter A, bite. The child who, who just lost his front tooth could not bite the apple. Hindi siya makakagat. Bite is kagat. Hindi siya makakagat ng apple kasi wala na siyang uh, front tooth. 25. Sa aming nayon, kilala si Cirilo na bukas palad. Na ang kahulugan ay si, si sorry, siyan. Na ay si Cirilo ay blank. Ano yung kahulugan ng bukas palad? Letter A, mapaghinala. Letter B, mapaghiganti. Letter C, mapagupasala. Or letter D, mapagkawang gawa. Okay, D, D, everybody is answering letter D. 
Yes, the correct answer is letter D, mapagkawang gawa. Ang meaning ng bukas palad is mapagkawang gawa. Twenty-six. Uh, sorry, ito, ano to, si Ali, Ali yan. Alibaba and the Forty Thieves, Aladdin and the Wonderful Lamp, and the story of Sinbad are some of the entertaining stories in the collection entitled Blank. A, the Arabian Nights, B, the Prince of Persia, C, the Magic Carpet, or letter D, Pirates of the Caribbean. I know itong question na to ay ano na din. Kumaga parang gasgas na rin yung question na to. Pero it might appear in the let exam ngayong March. Who knows? Kasi ang PRC, um, PR, I mean ang um, professional board of teachers ay nag-uulit din naman sila ng mga questions sa board exam. So uh, this might um, appear in the board exam again. So the correct answer is letter A, The Arabian Nights. Pag nakita niyo yung Alibaba kasi yung Alibaba is somewhat related sa Arab ano, Arab language yung Alibaba. So automatic answer din is The Arabian Nights. 27 The designation for places on earth that are of folk uh of outstanding universal value to humanity is called blank a vintage collection b world heritage c archaeological artifact or letter d antique heirloom <clears throat> The correct answer for this question is letter C, archaeological. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is letter B, world heritage. I'm sorry, ma namali ng highlight. But this is letter B, world heritage. Yes, tama po kayong lahat, letter B. Sorry. This is letter B, world heritage. 28. The date of uh, Philippine independence was changed from July 4 to June 12 by whose president? Sinong president ang nag-change nitong Philippine independence from July 4 to June 12? Letter A, just dado makapagal. B, Manuel Quezon. C, Benigno Aquino. Or letter D, Emilio Aguinaldo. Yes, makapagal. Letter A, letter A. Letter A. Yes, the correct answer is C. Former President Jos Dado Makapagal. Siya yung nag-move ng independence from July 4 to June 12. 29. The highest category in the classification of plants and animals is blank. Ano daw yung highest category ng classification ng plants and animals? Is it letter A, genus? Letter B, species. Letter C, phylum. Or letter D, domain. I'm seeing letter D, letter A, letter C, letter B, letter D. Okay, the correct answer is letter D, domain. Ito, from the general from the most general to the most specific ang highest is domain susundan siya ng kingdom and then phylum class order family genus and species pag naman yung tanong sa board exam yung lowest category ang isasagot niyo ay species pag highest domain yun lang naman yung domain or domain or species kasi hindi naman tatanong yung sa board exam yung pang fourth or yung pang fifth it's always the highest and the lowest. Yes, lowest ish species. Okay, number 30. Medicine is benefited by scientific development of blank. Letter A, access to information. B, control of diseases. C, information dissemination. Or letter D, research capability.
Okay, B. All of you are answering letter B. So correct, letter B, control of diseases. Of course, yung use ng medicine is to control diseases. All right, so that's it. Tatapos na tayo sa Gen Ed. So nakailan kayo sa Gen Ed? Nabilang nyo ba yung mga scores ninyo? Perfect. Perfect, wow. Perfect, 30. Ito ba ito nga? 30 na. 27 over 30, 24. Ay, sorry. May tumataw. Sorry. 23, 27 over 30. And not bad. Palakpa ka ng inyong mga sarili. 23, 29, 25. Wow. Ano, mga top-natures na yan. <laughs> 29, 25, yan. Nice. Okay, we'll move to professional education. So, bilangin nyo ulit din yung mga tamang sagot nyo dito mamaya. Wow, may naka-30 over 30. 20. Not bad. Okay, I prepared uh, 35 questions naman dito sa professional education natin. Okay, the first question is, which test is appropriate to for developing students' ability to organize thoughts and ideas? Letter A, fill in the blanks. Letter B, essay. Letter C, multiple choice. Or letter D, two or four. Ma'am Crystal Ann, pakimute po ng inyong mic, please. Thank you. Alright, I'm seeing letter B, letter B. Yes, the correct answer is letter B. So, essay writing requires students to analyze and interpret information, synthesize ideas, and present arguments coherently. So writing essays also improves students' writing and communication skills, enabling them to articulate their thoughts effectively. So it's essay. Number two, which of the following qualities is most becoming of a professional teacher? Tandaan nyo yung most becoming. Nakaano siya, nakakaps lock yung most. So A, love of the profession. Letter B, frugality in saving. Letter C, regularity in discipline. Or letter D, humility in work. So lahat to positive, di ba? Pero may iisang ano, uh, most becoming of a professional teacher. So everybody is answering letter A. Yes, the correct answer is letter A, love of the profession. Kasi lahat ito uh, parang nasa umbrella ng love of the profession. Meron kang humility sa trabaho, may regularity sa discipline, and uh, frugality in saving. Third question. If you believe in a student-led rather than teacher-led classroom, which philosophical perspective will be most useful to you? Letter A, traditionalist. Letter B, perennialist. Letter C, essentialist. Or letter D, existentialist. I'm seeing letter A. All are answering letter A. I-analyze nyo yung question. So, yun yung technique. Sa ano pala? Sa prof ed pala, ang, ang pinaka-technique dito is, ano, um, kailangan i-analyze nyo mabuto yung question. Hanapin nyo yung mga keywords, underline, i-underline nyo, kasi yun yung magbibigay ng hint sa inyo para makuha nyo yung tamang sagot. Kasi most of the questions, yung na-encounter kong questions last year, 
ang mga questions of Prof. Ed were, ano, were situation, parang somewhat situational. Hindi, parang hindi niya hinihingi mismo yung yung word, yung exact word, pero parang i-apply mo talaga yung concept na natutunan mo sa Prof. Ed in every situation. Sa Gen Ed naman, ano siya, um, parang uh, ang tawag dito, yung yung factual knowledge mo talaga, yung kung anong hinihingi ng sagot, yun yung parang more on memorization talaga sa Gen Ed. Sa Prof. Ed, you don't need to memorize, pero you have to know each concept uh, by heart. Alam mo kung paano siya i-apply uh, sa situation or sa question na hinihingi ng PRC or ng Board of Professional Teachers. So for this uh, question, ano yung sagot natin? So, letter D, letter C. <coughs> so, the correct answer is letter D, existentialist. Tingnan natin. So, brief, ano lang to, brief uh, lecture about sa philosophical foundation ng education. Yung mga isim-isims natin dyan. Mga isims. So, idealism... Uh, si Plato yan. Proponent niya si Plato. Pag sinabi idealism, yung mga own ideas. Nothing exists except in the mind of man or what we want to do, the world to be. Yung realism, si Aristotle, Herbard, Comenius, Hobbes, Pestalozzi, Montessori, Bacon, and Locke. Yung realism, experience, full mastery of knowledge. So enough to see. Behaviorism, pag sinabing behaviorism, always guided by standards or by procedure. Ang purpose nito is to modify the behavior, to change the behavior. Existentialism, ni Kierkegaard, Kierkegaard or Cesar, at Cesarte, man shapes his being as he lives, focuses on self or individual or choice. Tingnan nyo yung question. You will leave student-led rather than teacher-led classroom. So student-led is existentialist. Yung pragmatism naman or experimental experimentalism, si W. James and si John Dewey. So learn from experiences to interaction to the environment. So emphasizes the needs and interests of the children. In improvement. Essentially, sim ni William Bakley, teaching the basic. Pag essentially, sim, yung essentials, yung basic, mga basic uh, skills and knowledge. Yung uh, essentials, yung reading, writing, arithmetic, yun yung mga essentials. Progressivism, si Dewey and si Pestalozzi, focuses on the whole child development, and the cultivation of individuality. Constructivism named John Piaget focused on you, how humans make meaning in relation to the interaction between their experiences and their ideas. So nature of knowledge would represent an epistemological stance. And then yung social reconstructionism named George Counts uh, recognized that education was the means of preparing people for creating his social order, benefit of all, highlight social reform as the aim of education. But may social reconstructionism, always may social, uh, dun sa tanong, may social order, social reform, or benefit of all. Di ba may mga traditional and contemporary? Pag sinabing contemporary, it's the modern. Traditional, ay yung realism, idealism, perennialism, and essentialism. Yung perennialism, yung mga everlasting knowledge. Uh, pres preserving the past, fixed, absolute, objective, and then focus on teaching. Yun yung mga traditional. Contemporary, it is the pragmatism, progressivism, and reconstructionism. Reconstruct present, shape future changeable, subjective, and relative, 
and then focus on the active self-learning. Okay. Number four, which of the following is not deliberately taught in the lesson but will influence the curriculum? Letter A, learning peers. Letter B, choice of methodologies. Letter C, use of assessment instruments. Or letter D, statement of outcomes. Not deliberately. Ayan. Tsaka pala sa questions, uh, sa let, be mindful do sa mga not, except, uh, yung mga not, not build, does not belong, yung mga ganyan. Maging mindful kayo dun sa mga ganyang questions. Okay, letter A. A, A, A. Okay. Yes, the correct answer is letter A. Learning peers. Not deliberately taught in the lesson, but will influence the curriculum. It's the learning peers. Fourth question. What numerical grade corresponds to the descriptor did not meet expectations? Letter A, below 75. B, 80%. C, 85%, or D, 90%. Ano yung descriptor ng, ano, 70, uh, below, ah, sorry nang, uh, did not meet, did not meet expectations. Okay, letter A, letter A. Yes, the correct answer is below 75. Tingnan natin yung, ano, yung table. Para ma-refresh din kayo. So, pag sinabing below 75, did not meet expectations. So, failed na yan. Ang remarks niya, failed. Ang 75 to 79 is fairly satisfactory. 80 to 84, satisfactory. 85 to 89, very satisfactory. And 90 to 100% is outstanding. 75 and up, passed yung remarks nun. But below 75, failed and did not meet expectations. Number five, what does the Madrasa program of the K-12 curriculum prove? Sorry, wrong spelling pa. Double R yan, isang sila. Letter A, gender sensitivity. Letter B, inclusivity. Letter C, unity, or letter D, exclusivity. <coughs> okay, I'm seeing letter B, letter B, letter B. Okay. Yes, ang aim nitong madrasa program ng K-12 curriculum is for inclusivity. Basta pag nakita nyo yun sa board exam, yung question na madrasa program, it's the inclusivity. Tama naman lahat ng sagot nyo. Letter B. Number six. Can a licensed professional teacher, or the LPT, go back to teaching even if he or she has not taught for the, for the past five years? A. No, unless he or she earns 45 CPD units. B. Yes, if he or she completes additional six units of professional education and six units of specialization in a school recognized by the government. C. No, because she or he left teaching for the past five years. Or letter D. Yes, because he or she is a licensed. Okay, letter B, letter B. Si Ma'am Abigail, letter B. Si Ma'am Hannah, letter B. Si Ma'am Erica, letter B. Si Claire, letter B. Si Ma'am Daisy, letter B. Si LPT, letter B. Okay, the correct answer is letter B. Yes, if he or she... Com so, pag hindi... Pag ba, kung licensed teacher na kayo at di kayo nagturo for the past five years, kung gusto mong bumalik sa pagtuturo, you have to complete additional six units ng prof ed and six units of your specialization or your major mo sa school recognized by the government. <clears throat> Number seven, what is the form 
formian sorry what is the form of distance learning that uses computer networking technology to provide interaction of teacher to learner letter a inter independent study letter b mentor mentorship letter c telescoping or letter d online learning So, ginagamitan ng computer networking technology. Of course, it's online learning. Yeah. By the way, yung aking bachelor's degree was online. Yung aking prof eh, professional education was online. And then yung master's is ano din, online. So, lahat online learning. Kaya napaka uh, useful talaga ng online learning. Especially yung mga katulad naming mga OFWs na gustong mag professionally advance sa kanilang career. No? Number eight, among facets of hidden curriculum that transmit right moral values, the most important by way of influence are blank. A, teacher's attitude and behavior. Letter B, teacher's peer efforts. Letter C, teacher's authority over learners. Or letter D, teacher's innovation. <clears throat> okay, maraming sumagot ng letter A. Yes, the correct answer is letter A, teacher's attitude and behavior. Tingnan natin. Tingnan. Meron akong uh, short uh, lecture lang. Hidden curriculum, a side effect of schooling. Lessons which are learned but not openly intended, such as the transmission of norms, values, and beliefs conveyed in the classroom and social environment. So again, hidden curriculum, attitude, and behavior. Example nito, how students should interact with peers, teachers, and other adults. How students should perceive different races, groups, or classes of people. What ideas and behaviors are considered acceptable or unacceptable. When we say activity-based curriculum, may active learning. So active learning is anything that students do in a classroom other than merely passive listening to the teacher's lecture. Example nito, listening practices which help the students to absorb what they hear. Short writing exercises which students react to lecture materials. And uh, complex group exercises in which students apply course material to real life situations and or to new problems. So may ginagawa, may active learning pag activity-based curriculum. Yung null curriculum, information that schools do not teach, consists on the amount of teaching material which is not covered, taught, nor included in the typical curricula of school districts, also known as excluded curriculum or censored curriculum. Examples nito, sometimes yung teacher ignores some content or skill deliberately or unknowingly. Teacher may avoid detailed description of some topic for one or other reason. For example, evolution in biology. Sometimes also the learner fails to learn certain knowledge, skills, or attitude for bar various reasons. Or teacher who teaches subject that they do not know. So that's the null curriculum. Yung spiral curriculum naman, a concept widely attributed to Jerome Bruner refers to a curriculum design in which key concepts are presented repeatedly throughout the curriculum but with deepening layers of complexity or in different applications. For example, in first grade and the beginning of second grade, students learn simple addition and subtraction facts. These facts are memorized by students so that they no longer have to rely on counting on fingers or using number lines. Addition and subtraction is then made more complex by introducing two-digit numbers. Parang ginawang complex. Yung, yung uh, basic na knowledge gagawin ng may deepening layers of uh, complexity. So after students are taught to read, they are then asked to read to learn new things. Students learn to identify a sequence of events when they are learning how to read. So that's the spiral curriculum. 
Okay, question number nine. Move on tayo. To make grade reporting meaningful, which must be done? Letter A, console parents whose children are non-performing by telling them that nobody fails. Letter B, announce students' names who need help. C, rank the report card from highest to lowest, then distribute the same according to rank. And letter D, explain how the grades were computed. Okay, maraming sumasagot ng letter B ang mga reviewers natin. So the correct answer, of course, is letter D of uh, explain how the grades were computed. Yung letter A, parang anto eh, um, um, false, false reassurance sa parents, no? ang ginagawa ng teacher. Yung letter B and C, it's some what uh, it's a form of uh, discrimination naman sa mga students. No? Ina-announce, actually bawal yan, ina-announce mo yung pangalan ng student na kailangan ng tulong or binibigay mo yung report card according to uh, may mga ranking kang ginagawa. So that's a no-no. Number 10. While she is not teaching fourth grade students, teacher Nika mainly uses drills in other in order to advance memory building for higher test scores. What principle of learning should teacher Nika should be aware of? Letter A, learning begins with expected outcomes. Letter B, learning is an active process. Letter C, learning is a dis discovery of meaning. Letter D, learning is a collaborative process. Okay, may sumagot ng letter D, B, D. Again, i-analyze yung mabuti yung question. Si teacher Nika ay mainly uses drills in order to advance memory building for higher test scores. So the correct answer is letter B. Learning is an active process. Kasi gumagamit siya ng, ng mga drills in order to advance memory building for higher test scores. Letter B. Learning is an active process. Okay, number 11. Which materials are used for instructional planning of course content and strategies? Letter A, exhibits. B, sitting arrangement. C, instructional materials. Or letter D, syllabus. Okay, may sumagot ng letter D, may sumagot ng letter C, C. Okay, the correct answer for this, uh, use for instructional planning of course, content, and strategies. It's letter, yes, letter C, instructional materials. By the way, itong mga binibigay ko palang questions sa inyo ay mga actual questions na lumabas sa mga previous board exams ng uh, let. Mm. Number 12. What is shown by results in a pretest? Ano yung kinukuha mo dun sa pretest? Anong result ang gusto mong makuha dun sa pretest? Di ba magbibigay ka ng pretest prior to um, prior to your lesson or prior to a new lesson? Letter A, current moral values. Letter B, present psychomotor skills. Letter C, previous knowledge. Or letter D, past experiences. Okay, I'm seeing letter C, letter D. Okay, the correct answer is pretest, uh, previous knowledge. Kasi gusto mong makita yung... Um, natutunan ng bata doon sa past uh, lesson ninyo bago ka mag-move to into the new lesson. So it's letter C, previous knowledge. Yes, letter C. C pala, yes. 13. To awaken thought among learners, which kind of questioning helps the process of reflection? To awaken thought among learners, 
which kind of questioning helps the process of reflection? Letter A, open-ended question. Letter B, specific question. Letter C, directed question. Or letter D, concrete questions. Okay, mga sagot ninyo ay letter A. Tama ba ang mga sagot ninyo? Of course, tama yan. Open-ended questions. Kasi hindi siya yan. Ang open-ended question, um, sabi nga dito, it helps to form yung, ano, yung thought ng students or ng learners to process reflection. While yung mga close-ended question, yun yung mga answerable by yes or no, yung mga true or false, yun yung mga close-ended questions. Yung open-ended may expound pa nila ng ng mas uh, malalim or mas mahaba yung questions nila. Ay, yung mga sagot nila, I mean, sorry. Number 14, the learner's mind takes in information, processes that information, then uses that information for learning. Which learning theory is explained? A, progressivism, B, cognitivism, C, behaviorism, D, constructivism. Natakil na natin kanina itong mga isim-isim na to So, dapat din na kayo magkamali dito sa question na to Okay, I'm seeing letter A, B, D, B. B. Letter B. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, cognitivism. Pag sinabing cognitivism, cognitive, it's how you think, how you process thought, how you how you uh, process that information or, or how you use that information. So cognitive sa pag-iisip. Yes, letter B, yes, correct. Number 15, what kind of foundation for the curriculum is established by asking the school's mission, vision, and core values? Letter A, social. Letter B, pedagogical. Letter C, philosophical. Or letter D, political. Okay, letter C. Letter B, C, B, B, C. C, okay. The correct answer is letter C, philosophical. Kasi when we say philosophical, philosophy... It's the heart of curriculum development. Philosophy is the heart of curriculum development. It helps educators in formulating beliefs, arguments, assumptions, and in making value judgment. So, yung mga mission, vision, and the core values is uh, under the, the philosophical, uh, uh, the philosophy of the curriculum development. So, it's letter C, philosophical. Yes. Number 16, at what point does the science learner engage in critical thinking? Tandaan nyo yung ang i-underline nyo dito, critical thinking. Alin ba dito yung nag yung nag uh, nagdi-display or nag uh, nagpapakita ng critical thinking skills? Letter A, learning procedures, letter B, examining and judging objects, letter C, observing objects, or letter D, gathering evidence. Yes, letter B, letter B. Yes, of course, ang correct answer is examining and judging objects, letter B. Pag sinabing critical thinking, there is examination, there is judging. So that's critical thinking. Yes, B. Number 17, after a 200-hour sewing course, what is an appropriate outcome for assessment? Letter A, hours completed. Letter B, labeling of sewing machine parts. Letter C, product so, uh, pattern of product. Letter D, product son. Outcome of assessment. Appropriate outcome of assessment. I-underline nyo dyan. Okay, letter D. Letter D. Yes, I guess everybody is correct. Letter D, product son. That's the final output, no? Yung appropriate outcome ng 
assessment, yung 200 hours sewing course, is yung kung ano yung nagawa mong natahimong produkto. Number uh, number 18, which of the following best describes a 21st century teacher who regularly undertakes professional training such as seminars and workshops? Letter A, servant leader. Letter B, entrepreneur. Letter C, optimist. Or letter D, forever a learner. Ay, pag nagkamali pa kayo dito, ay ewan ko na lang. Yes, correct. Tama, forever a learner. Di ba nga sabi ang, ang mga teacher ay forever a learner. So hindi natatapos yung pag-aaral natin once we pass the board exams. Patuloy tayong mag-aaral at ite-develop ang ating mga sarili. <coughs> Number 19. Which of the following is a simulation to abstract the real world in learning? And ba dito yung nagpapakita ng simulation? Is it A, Monopoly, B, Chess, C, Role Playing, or letter D, Scrabble? Yes, letter C, letter C. Letter C, si Ma'am Hana, si Ma'am Felmar, letter C, si Ma'am Maris, letter C, si Miss Erica, letter C. Si Ma'am Daisy, letter C. Si Ma'am Michelle, letter C. Si LPT, letter C. Yes, of course, ang tamang sagot natin dito sa question na to ay letter C, role-playing. Simulation. Role-playing is a form of simulation. Number 20, what is the most essential in the student portfolio? Most essential. A, reflection journals. B. Display photos. C. Tests and self-rating. Or letter D. Artistic design. Okay. Everybody is answering letter A. Yes. Tama ang inyong mga kasagutan. Ang most essential sa student portfolio ay reflection journals. Yes. 21. Which among the following should be recognized when dealing with cultural diversity among learners? A. That inferior cultures should be disregarded. B. That superior culture must prevail. C. That all students are the same in their cultures. Or letter D. That each student is unique in his or her own way. Okay, letter D. Everybody is answering letter D. Yes, the correct answer is letter D. That each student is unique in his or her own way. Yung uh, letter A and B is somewhat, ano, para siyang um, discrimination, di ba? Parang that inferior culture should be, should be disregarded na ang, ang superior culture lang ang must prevail. So that's form of ano, discrimination. Twenty-two. What? Uh, which of the following is an improvement in the physical learning environment of a classroom? Physical learning environment. Huh? A. More concept mapping. B. Longer lesson presentation. C. Better classroom ventilation. Letter D. More student-teacher interaction. A, 22, letter D, D, C, D. C, C, C. Okay, when we say physical learning environment, in yung physical learning, yung classroom, yung light, yung uh, ventilation ng classroom, so that's ano the correct answer is letter C better classroom ventilation. Yes, C, yes, correct, letter C. 23 after the 1987 constitution, what is the legal basis that makes teaching a profession and considers teachers as professionals? Dapat alam niyo na to yung 
yung ating batas bilang mga guro. Letter A, RA 7640. Letter B, RA 7836. Letter C, Code of, Prof uh, Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers. Or letter D, uh, the Presidential Decree 1006. Yes, letter B, 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 pag may sumagot pa ng kakaiba dito. N, may sumagot ng letter N. Sorry, haha. <laughs> okay lang, ma'am. Ma'am Sarina. Yes, the correct answer is letter B, RA 7836, which is the Philippine Teachers Professionalization Act of 1994. Yung RA 7640, ano yan, the Legislative Executive Development Advisory Council. And then yung Code of Ethics, iba naman yan, yung Code of Ethics ng Professional Teachers. Yung PD-1006, uh, ito yun nung panahon ni Ferdinand Marcos Sr. Ano to, ang, during the PD-1006, ang tawag pa sa exam ng mga teachers nun is PIBET or yun the Professional Board Examination for Teachers. And then yung naging RA 7836, nung, naging, nung, nung 1994, naging LET na siya, the Licensure Examination for Teachers. Twenty-four. On the learning deficiencies, what is learning disability in reading? Letter A, dyslexia. Letter B, dyscalculia. Letter C, dysgraphia. Or letter D, dyspepsia. Letter A, letter C, letter A, A. So the correct answer is letter A, dyslexia. Meron siyang um, learning disability in reading. Dyslexia. Yung dyscalculia, difficulty in understanding numbers. Pag dyscalculia, numbers. Dyslexia, reading. Dysgraphia, sa pagsusulat to. Yung uh, interferes with practically all aspects of writing process, including spelling, legibility, word spacing, and sizing, and expression. Yung dyspepsia, medyo malayo na siya. Yung indigestion, yung mga hindi natutunawan. May kinalaman sa ating uh, chan, dyspepsia. 25. On the variety of intelligence as dispositions, What is one work inclination of a learner who can speak and write effectively? Ano daw yung pwede maging trabaho ng isang a student na magaling magsalita at magaling magsulat? So letter A, to be an economist. Letter B, to be a journalist. Letter C, to be a singer. Or letter D, to be an ecologist. Okay, letter... Okay. B, 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 B. Okay, B. Yes, the correct answer is letter B. To be a journalist kasi magaling siyang magsulat at magsalita. Magiging ano siya, reporter. So ano lang, overview lang ito ng, ano, uh, ng uh, types of intelligences, ng multiple intelligences ni, ni Howard Gardner. O yung spatial, visualizing the world in 3D. Spatial, may kinalaman sa pag... Sa visualize, sa visual. Visual smart. Naturalist, understanding living things and reading nature. Musical, or the music smart, discerning sounds, their pitch, tone, rhythm, and timbre. Logical, mathematical, quantifying things, making hypotheses, and, provide, and proving them. Existential, tackling the questions of why we live and why we die. Interpersonal, sensing people's feelings and motives. Bodily kinesthetic, coordinating your mind with your body. Pag sa bodily kinesthetics, more on ano siya, movement. Physical smart, kumbaga. So linguistic, finding the right words to express what you mean. Katulad nung sa question, ano siya, uh, linguistic. And then, intrapersonal, understanding yourself, what you feel, and what you want. So, may kinalaman to sa, within yourself, sa sarili mo. Intrapersonal.
Okay, moving on, number 26. What is the role of the teacher in the teachers? In the saying, teachers open the door, you enter by yourself. A, as a lecturer. B, as a coach. C, Marie, as a Real master. Okay, ang correct answer natin dito ay letter C as a facilitator. Di ba nga, on the, sa 21st century learning, ang teacher ay serves as facilitator siya. Hindi na siya yung uh, hindi na tayo teacher-centered kundi uh, student-centered na tayo. Nagpa-facilitate tayo ng um, classroom activities, ng lecture. Hindi na lang tayo nag-spoon-feed nag sa mga students. Hindi na lang tayo nagle-lecture sa unahan kundi uh, hinahayaan natin yung mga students natin na sila yung mag, ano, mag, uh, gumawa ng mga activities. Yan. So, we are the facilitator. 28. The student score was 80, 83, 84, 86, 87, 88, 89. What is the score? 86. A, median. B, uh, A, mean, B, median, C, none, or D, mode. Sa mga scores na to, ano yung meaning ng 86? Is it A, median, B, A, mean, B, median, or D, mode? Exclude na natin yung none kasi wala namang none. Letter C. Okay, the correct, yes, all of you are answering letter B. So the correct answer is letter B, median. So having median, siya yung middle score, siya yung nasa gitna. Yung mean, siya yung average or sum of the score. And then yung mode, yun yung most frequently occurring score. Yung madalas na lumalabas na score. Yes, that's median, correct. 29. What principle is behind Vygotsky's th theory in illustrating guidance that leads to independent performance of students in learning? Letter A, apprenticeship. Letter B, scaffolding. Letter C, participation. Guided participation. Or letter B, uh, peer interaction. Yes, letter B, scaffolding, letter B, letter B. Yes, the correct answer is letter B, scaffolding. So scaffolding is an instructional practice where a teacher gradually removes guidance and support as students learn and become more competent or sabi na natin more independent. So support can be for content, processes, and learning strategies. So that's scaffolding. Number 30, this is the official list of uh, DepEd teacher applicants who obtained a score of 70 and above. Letter A, key result areas. Letter B, key reform thrust. Letter C, registry of qualified applicants. Or letter D, learning action cell. <clears throat> so ito yung gagawin ninyo kapag... Nakuha na nyo na yung lisensya nyo in a few months, mag apply na kayo sa DepEd. Kung may backer. <laughs> so, the correct answer is letter C, Registry of Qualified Applicants, yung RQA. Yun, madalas nating naririnig sa mga vlog naman yung mga RQA sa mga nag apply sa DepEd as teachers. 31. Can teachers who fail the let be hired as teachers? Letter A, yes, if they are hired only by private schools. Letter B, yes, if their failed rating is at least 65%. Letter C, yes, if granted special permit by the Board of uh, board for Professional Teachers. Or letter D, yes, if they failed once only. Pwede ba magturo yung mga hindi pumasa sa board exam ng mga teachers? 
Yes, letter C, C. Everybody is answering letter C. Yes. Yes, correct. The correct answer is letter C. Yes, if granted special permit by the Board for Professional Teachers. Yun yung mga tinatawag natin ng mga para-teachers. Yung mga let average nila is between 70 to 74 point. Uh, basta hindi siya umabot na 75%. So, pwede siya maging para-teachers. At bibigyan sila ng permit to be a para-teachers for two years. Thirty-two, to learn to live together, which attitude should be out of the picture? So again, to learn live together, which attitude should be out of the picture? Letter A, ethnocentrism. B, fundamentalism. C, xenocentrism. Or letter D, existentialism. Okay, letter A, A. Marami sumagat ng letter A. Yes, the correct answer is ethnocentrism. Pag sinabi natin ethnocentrism, uh, yun yung ano, uh, you see your culture as uh, superior than other culture. Yun yung, and kaya hindi siya kasama dito. Yung fundamentalism, existentialism, and xenocentrism are alike. Hmm. 33. What needs to be written by teachers for day-to-day -day teaching aligned with curriculum requirements? Again, what needs to be written by teacher for day-to-day -day teaching aligned with curriculum requirements? Letter A, a self-reflection. Letter B, a weekly journal. Letter C, a portfolio. Or letter D, a lesson plan. Ano ba yung sinusulat ng mga teacher for day-to-day -day teaching? Of course, it is the lesson plan. Yung ating ano, OSLEA. Ano ba yun? Uh, objective, subject matter, learning activities, uh, evaluation, and assignment. Yan. Number 34. When teachers conduct a series of evaluation to determine the extent of, the extent of teaching, what must be implemented? Again, when teachers conduct a series of evaluation to determine the extent of teaching, what must be implemented? Letter A, assessed curriculum. B, learned curriculum. C, hidden curriculum. D, taught curriculum. A, 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 okay, letter A. So, the correct answer is letter A. Kasi, tinan nyo, i-underline nyo yung word na evaluation. Pag sinabi yung evaluation, there is assessment. Evaluation and assessment. Kaya, ang ating sagot ay assessed curriculum. 35 and the last question. Which is negatively skewed distribution? A. Morgat High Score. B, even from left to right. C, more got low score. Or D, more students are underachiever. Pag sinabi natin negatively skewed, what is the meaning of negatively skewed? Distribution. Letter A, si Ma'am LPT, si Ma'am Abigail, si Ma'am Cristel. si Oppo, A16, si Ma'am Felmar, Maria Sarina. Si Ma'am Hana, tatlong letra. Si Ma'am Priscilla, si Curvy Jefferson, letter A. So the correct answer is letter A. Yes, more got high score. Uh, pagka naman positively skewed, opposite naman niya, more got low score. Positively skewed, skewed to the right, and negatively skewed, skewed to the left. Yes. Ayon, tapos sa tayo. Thank you so much po. Ah uh, by the way, ilan pa lang ating ano? Ang ating uh, mga scores diyan. Nakailan po kayo? Si tatlong letra ay 31 over 35. Ma'am Erica Rubio 33 over 35. Si Ma'am Daisy 29 over 35. 
si Ma'am si Opo A16, welcome po. 34 over 35. Ma'am Abigail, 34 over 35. Si Ma'am Maris ay nakakuha ng perfect score na 35. Si Ma'am Hana ay 35, 34. Si Ma'am Nena ay 33. Nice. Si hindi ko siya ano kung Ma'am or Sir De Cleo is 29. Okay. Si RR ay 32. Si Ma'am Joy ay 32. Nice. Alright. I hope na marami naman po kayong natutunan sa mga mga questions na binigay ko po sa inyo. Again, that is that questions were the actual questions na lumabas sa mga nagdaang board examination and it might appear again sa ating board exam. Kaya mabuti na na-encounter nyo yung mga questions na yun. Kaya alam nyo na yung sasagot nyo sa, sa board exam. <clears throat> Ayan. So, good luck po sa inyong board exam. I know na, na nakakakaba, nakakastress, ganyan talaga. Uh, pero after niyan and even more so yung paghihintay ng ano ng result ng board exam no parang nandiyan yung agony nandiyan yung mga self doubt pero that's okay that's normal ganyan talaga uh, basta ano lang magpray lang kayo palagi and bigyan kayo ng wisdom ng knowledge ng ating Panginoon and for sure mai-ace nyo yan or mag, ma, even more may itatap nyo yung board exam. Basta sipagan nyo lang, doblihin kung kinakailangan yung, yung uh, pag-aaral, pag-review. And kung talagang makikita naman ni Lord yung dedication or yung effort na binigay nyo and susuklian naman niya yan ng isang lisensya. No? So again, good luck po sa inyong lahat and um, lahat kayo ipapasa in Jesus' name. And I'd like to also to thank, uh, once again, Academia for inviting me for tonight's session, uh, specifically with uh, to Dr. Ruben Hosol for inviting me tonight to be the facilitator of this review session.